Hi. Looking at the comments of some Roller Coaster Tycoon videos, I've seen a lot of how questions. Like, how did you record this? How do you record the sounds? How do you get that extended coaster? And the question that has come to my videos are, how do you get those sounds? So as a courtesy to these people, I thought I'd make a visual demonstration, a nice tutorial. About time you told us a secret! You're welcome. There are several ways of putting sound to a roller coaster, though I can only think of three ways at the time. One is using a game recorder or some kind of capture program like a track. though the image won't always be smooth. Then there's the other way where you first record it in-game. Then go through it again, only this time recording the sound. To record the sound that the computer is producing, either use the stereo mix on your sound controller, or use one of these, input-output. Then the third way, add all sounds afterwards through some kind of tracker, which I'm going to talk to you about. Anyway, let's start off by bringing up our video editor. Can be ULED, Windows Movie Maker, you know, anything where you can see the timestamp. If you don't have any of those because they are too expensive, don't know how to get a hold of them, or you don't want to go into Windows XP or higher, there's this program called Virtual Dub that, uh, that you can use instead. Though do listen to what I have to say during my ULED tour. Some of the same principles apply. Anyway, anyway set your settings so that your project's frame rate matches that of the uh, movie clip. My movie clips are 30 frames a second. Not sure what yours are. Even though the movie clip has a resolution of 800 by 600, it might be an idea to scale it down, you know, so that your result isn't so big. And besides, YouTube prefers something even smaller, like 320 to 40. Now add your movie clip. Now you open the tracker program. I use Modplug Tracker because it's... Uh, it gets the job done, and I'm used to that thing. And three. Right, you create... Create new IT. Why I choose IT is because it can have very large files and more options in how you fade things or pitch them. Now, now in here, we are to set a speed. And here it is called A. And we set speed three frames a row. Then T. T is in tempo. And in hexadecimal that we shall set that to ET1 or in standard decimal that's called 225 beats per minute. Then we set a pattern length of 240. Why only 240? Because the tracker can only go as far as 256. And 240 is a nice dividable by 30. And so that would give us 8 seconds per pattern. If you're using some other tracker program, you can go as far as you want. We now need to like set a counter on the last channel every 30 rows. And you just continue like so. 
so until you reach the duration of your clip. you update the counter. Mm. Now to find some sounds. Mm. Go into instruments, then then either through here you can browse for your sound effects if there is anything. Mm. You're probably wondering where I got the um, Roller Coaster Tycoon 3 sound effects. Well, um, I found a game extractor for those uh, files that are called common and unique. Though uh, it only worked on the original game files. Once I installed the expansion packs, the files completely changed and so I can't extract any more files. I tried looking for other extractors but never found any. Luckily I managed to extract all the sounds uh, from the original game before the expansion packs did any serious damage. But there are plenty of other games where you can find uh, sounds. Actually, not so many. But, but one of the um, popular places I like to go to is Uru. Nice, nice heavy sounds, rolling and such and whatnot. You can also look in Tony Hawk's for the for the uh, skateboard rolling sounds. Other roll sounds you can try out and pitch to your liking. But for this, I'm going to go for the original game files. And see now, steel. Even though they are unknown files can still drop them into mod plug trackers sample section. Okay, let's know what I'm here. Okay, um sign sixteen bit. Oh no fine. Okay. Next. Something a little more. There we go. Drop. Sign sixteen. Okay. Watch what key I'm pressing. That sounds like a strange sound. Could it be a start sound or stop sound or I don't know. These things aren't named when you extract them, so I know nothing. 